day, but Cotley Peak is a must do. We're gonna eat some lunch. So we can take it outside. Waking up morning two, day three. Uh, today's uh, plan is to hike Mount Cotley. It's a backcountry hike, so it's not actually a marked trail. Gonna be a fun one. And uh, we're gonna go make some coffee, have some oats again. I'm not gonna film it, because you've seen that like a million times. And, uh, and then we're gonna hit the road. Okay. All right, so breakfast is made. Uh, coffee was delicious, it's 10.30. So, very late start, but that's all good. We got all day to hike, so pretty pumped for today. We're doing a bit more of a backcountry type hike, um, unmarked. So we're just kind of gonna pave our own path and uh, get to the summit of, uh, of Mount Cotley. Lots and lots of wildflowers. So we're gonna cr cross the, uh, the, uh, the bridge here behind the Ranger Hut, and then we shoot it across the meadow, apparently. We are really in the mix here uh, beautiful meadow all to ourselves man i love this area these wildflowers are just unbelievable so cool walking through a meadow like this just beautiful opening up huge forest here wow can't beat it at all we got a darker cloud moving in so a little less sunshine that won't bring us down. That's the ridge we got to get to. That's Cotley up there. That's not even a named summit. And that's Wonder. So we're going to get there. We're coming down the scree. And we'll walk out in a loop to Wonder. Absolutely no trail. We're making our own way downtown. There's my girl. It's beautiful. It's beautiful up here. Wow. our own more direct route. Wow. Slowly but surely, it's a pleasure. We walked from those red huts in there, straight through the trees, hugged that little kind of sand bend, curved up around here, and came up through here. You can see Og Lake way over there. Magog, Gog. Um, this, is, this is phenomenal. You can see some people have hiked down this because you can see kind of the scree uh, slid. Uh, you can see like boot tracks as well. So that's always good to see. It really drags on on the way to the top. It's a funny thing about steep straight up climbs is that you see the top, you're like, oh, it's so close, no problem. But it's not that close. So always give yourself lots of time. We've got loads of time. Made it to Cotton Peak. It's wonderful. I'll give you the 360 tour. So over there, we can see Wonder Peak. We're going down somewhere over there. We can see all these mountains on the other side. Looks like just over there. That might actually be less windy if we sit there to eat. Wow. Get a whole different view. We can see Gog Lake, we can see Magog Lake, we can see Sunburst Lake, and we can see Crisulian Lake. I got it! Amazing. There's the glacier right there. The Wonder Pass tucks in there. This is one of the coolest viewpoints, I think, uh, in this entire area. Like, it really gives you an amazing 360. Wow. It's windy up here. We've got some serious 
serious gust today. Serious gust. It's freezing, freezing. So we had our, our nuts for lunch. We're heading down. Um, yeah, that's why you always bring your layers. But uh, I just got my rain jacket, my windbreaker. Uh, not breaking much wind. We're gonna see if our planned route of descent looks okay. And then we're gonna get off this ridge, get out of the wind, back into the buggy warm. So cool, coming down from the summit. We got another rock cairn here. And we're gonna look over the edge here and see if this looks like, yep, our plan of descent seems okay to me. So the plan is, we see the trail across, right? Where did they go from there? We're gonna walk on the trail and then we're gonna hug. We're gonna keep going across, right till we hit that snow edge. And we're coming down where those rocks are. This is all, a, that's all a cliff band, right? So we gotta stay on that stream. Escape wind, mission escape wind is a go. We haven't escaped the wind, but uh, closer, I think. The air is feeling warmer as we're uh, going, uh, descending a little bit here. Nice. Looks like I'm on top of uh, Sodden Kular. Laura's got her hands in her coat because she's frozen. Fair enough, I'm frozen. Pull straight down, vomit. Got a nice little, uh, little snow chunk here. Might be a little glacier, still pretty deep. Cool. Very cool. So we made some pretty quick round. There you can see the Kali Summit. It is really high. It's definitely, it is the highest in the region. Kali's like 20 meters higher than Wonder right there. But it's all perspective, kind of depending where you're standing. Monstrous rocks, beautiful grass, wildflowers, cannot beat it. We're still coming down. I think the time now is, we've probably been descending for about an hour. It's almost two. So yeah, I've probably been descending for 40 minutes or so. This is beautiful. This would be a great spot to prop up some lawn chairs, hang out in the sunshine for a little while. This is a super cool, uh, super cool section here at the end. It's like meadow and then there's these huge boulders just sitting here and they're right between the grass. This is super neat. Glacial pond. We've almost, uh, we've almost wandered our way back to the wonderful Wonder Pass. And then from the Wonder Pass, I believe it's 6K to the campsite. So it's about uh, 2.15. We left at 10.30. Cotley's up there. Now we're back on the, uh, the Wonder Pass. So we looped up through this meadow here. We went straight up, looped that whole ridge, came down the stream, and then now we're back on the Wonder Pass. We're thinking we're gonna go rip to Aug Lake right now. 8K from here. We need a bit more, we got a bit more juice in the tank, so why not? But we are certified hardos and um, we had a quick snack, and now we're headed towards Aug Lake, mainly because it's 5K from the Nicet Huts. Our campsite's 2K from the Nicet Huts, or a bit more than that, so we may as well go to Aug Lake while we're in the area. So we pretty much just walk a meadow all the way there. You can see right in front of us, Nub Peak, so that's where we hiked yesterday. And I don't think you can quite see Cotley yet behind us, but uh, this is beautiful just being able to see throughout the whole meadow. I remember looking down from Cotley and from, uh, and from Nub thinking like, man, that's, uh, that's a beautiful big patch of grass. So pretty pumped we get to walk through it. So we got a nice central uh, view here of uh, the Aug Lake, uh, the meadow kind of in between Aug Lake and Assiniboine. 
You can see a Cinnaboyan poking out. This would be a sweet spot to, to view some wildlife. You can see a bit of everything here. You can see the corner of Cotley. This ridge here is, uh, is called Windy Ridge. We're gonna hike that tomorrow in the AM. And uh, the Niblet and the Nublet, or that's Nub Peak, um, is, is right to our right. So it's fun to kind of see everything come together that we've done uh, throughout our time here. We got eyes on Og Lake. There's Laura walking there. Much more remote feeling campsite. I see four tents and tent pads. So you're pretty much lakefront camping, which is fun. It's kind of a normal color lake, tucked into the, uh, the cliffside. No special colors, it is but not sunny right now. it's not sunny, that's true. It might be a bit greeny. Nice. Oh, it's gonna feel good to stick our feet in there, go for a swim for sure. How is it? Phenomenal. A bit warmer than Magog, yeah, about the same. It's still pretty chilly, but it's fresh, real fresh. Oh. And the sun came out perfect. Perfect timing. Feels really good on my feet. My feet are getting really messed up. The swim. Was, uh, was on point as per usual. Um, I'm standing here nude, because I didn't want to get my clothes uh, wet. So hopefully no one comes around the corner. The people at the campsite are too far away. All they probably can see is my, uh, my bare white bottom. Um, we're gonna chill here for a bit. I'm gonna air dry in the sun like a naked seal. And, uh, and then we're gonna walk back to, to Magog probably swim again and uh, and have uh, our mashed potato dinner, but definitely worth a go if you're in the Assiniboine area or if you're through hiking, feels fantastic. So tonight we got the Lauren James trans fat special. We got the instant mashed potatoes with the pepperoni sticks. We're gonna dip the pepperoni sticks in the mashed potatoes. Fabulous. They're really good, I love these potatoes. My body doesn't love them, but they taste so good. So warm, amazing. There's a certain amount of guilt associated with eating just a big pot of instant potatoes, but also not. Like they're like I love them. And they're warm and they're delicious. So I know I'm the spokesperson for sidekicks, but I might be like an instant no. mashed potatoes. Someone's gotta make instant mashed potatoes without trans fat. favorite part of the day mint tea and we're having chocolates um, today was awesome a lot of hiking pretty exhausted lots of wind by the lake tonight um, but fabulous day we got another day of hiking tomorrow uh, thanks again for uh, for joining us today it was an absolute pleasure uh, do me a favor if you enjoyed the uh, the video like comment and subscribe it's always appreciated and oh there's a mosquito on my head <laughs> and uh, with that I'll uh, see you in the morning. <laughs>